Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh huh. Everywhere, everyone. Hi. Come on in. My face is on. I've got my lashes done. <laughs> Come on in. Just cleansing the energy. Listen, I actually can't deal with the energy that I'm channeling right now. It's insanely beautifully, emotionally lovely. Um, listen. Some of you are already seeing someone and they mean they mean it when they say that they're going to be loyal or something. For some of you, it's like, it's someone that maybe isn't normally your type or someone that you wouldn't normally go for or think that would go for you, you know? There's something, my light has gone shit. <laughs> there's something about the energy where there's, uh, which is going to create a hesitancy for you, right? Flip it all as you need to, but... Come on, give me one last, one last one. Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. Right, Taurus energy, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, place a sign of Taurus in your chat anywhere you like. Friend messages near for you. Cross watch is always welcome. You know, we encourage that shit. Do you need to do with the messages, but don't force them if they're not yours, right? General reading, not a personal. Anyone wanting a personal reading, please email me. But listen, I see commitment. All I've seen in the pre shuffle whilst meditating on your energy is. Beautiful stuff. Yay. Love call, commitment. Um, literally every single deck that I've used, that I'm going to use, a new start is coming. It's just so looking beautiful. <laughs> Yay for you. Claim it. Listen, some of you, this is to come. <clears throat> some of you, it's going to require movement. Um, someone, some of you, it's, you're going to meet someone when you've moved home. Some of you are in the process of moving home. You're going to meet someone new there. Or... It's someone that's moving maybe at a distance, they're coming towards you, maybe they're new to, maybe they're new to the area. Um, maybe you are. I don't know. There's something which, or oh, there's something about an energetic movement forward with you and this person. So let's jump in. It's a little bit exciting though. It is. Um, show me Taurus's energy. The sun. Oh, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What do my darlings need to see today? I hope you are well. If you're new. Do you subscribe? Right, that's the first time I've seen something shit. Brilliant. Something nice and Venus. What do my Tauruses need to see today? So, and then we've got the key. So I feel like it's more... You're not going to believe it. It's a lock-in destiny <clears throat> that you're not going to trust. Or it's always actually giving someone... Oh my God, what it is for you, the majority of you for the collective, is becoming vulnerable. It's giving someone the opportunity to fuck you over, basically, isn't it? If you're putting your trust into somebody, you're kind of giving that person, that individual, that whatever, the opportunity to fuck you over. Because you've kind of, you know, you've dropped your guard. You've let your guard down. You've become vulnerable. You are becoming open. And it's scary for you because you don't want to give anyone the opportunity to do anything because you've dealt with enough of it in the past. So, you know, maybe don't tire everyone with the same brush because whoever this person is, let's pray for a new, <laughs> they mean it. So, yeah. Show what Taurus needs to see. Look. Yay. Oh, they mean it. Oh. Love it when it's mean spirit. I just, you know, we like this. Um, but spirit basically just tells you what I can articulate. <laughs> but yeah, someone means it. Someone wants to be stable, loyal, settle down, long lasting. Some of you, this person's not arrived yet, but they're coming. They're excited. Energy, passion, speed, activity, and news messages. Oh. Some of you may be someone from your past with a tree behind it. Health, growth, spiritual, vitality, karma from the past. Maybe it's someone that just matches your spirituality. Um, you know. But this is also karma. You deserve this. Show me messages for Taurus, please. <sighs> Bonnie was making them demonic noises. Sensory overload. The sun, right. 
Success, victory, happiness, truth, warmth, positive outcome. All right, show me more. The Taurus. For some of you, this is about, um, this is going to come through and when you've done something to, you know, moved home or someone is moving home. We've got the house. Card number four. Uh, oh, we've got, oh, and the skies. Oh, listen, some of you, someone's going to come and knock on your door and you're going to be, what? Maybe it's a new neighbour, you know, like where neighbours go and introduce themselves. Oh. <gasps> Oh my God, please tell me a sexy single daddy's going to come and knock on my door. I'm sorry. <laughs> Calling that in. Um, but listen, something's coming and it's going to put you in a, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit of a tiz. You're going to be confused. You know, mate, let's not be a negative Nancy, but it's because of how sudden out of the blue this is. But this is like, you're not looking for happiness, so you go and find it. Well, you know, like romance, you're happy on your own. It's when it hits you, literally smacks you in the face when you're not looking for it. And someone, you know, is coming to your home or moving home or wants a family with you. I don't know. There's something about you being overly cautious because of the, the unexpected side of things or... Maybe who the person is. Chill the fuck out though, because it's it looks good for you. You know, to be honest, I feel like you could be your own worst or your own worst enemy because the majority of you have got a fear of commitment. Now it's not often that I do tell you, Taurus, but I'm telling you. So just bear that in mind. Someone means it. Who are you? <sighs> I have done nothing but C four 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 all day. I literally I've been up since four o'clock this morning. Um, and then the second time I looked at my phone, it was 4.44 4, 4 a.m. And then the mileage on my car, within the numbers, there's a 4.44 4, 4 on the way home from school. Um, message of concern. Show me Taurus's messages. Right, someone's got an ex. Or someone just got a divorce. Do you think you're a rebound? Or you've just got out of a commitment, so you're like, I can't. I've just got out of a commitment. Now, how can I get into another one? Because you can. So that's going to be some kind of issue for someone, but it's not you. I mean, flip it as you need to, but... I mean, no, it's an issue for you, but not them. Yeah. Like, this person is not asked. They're like, so what? Especially if this is you that's just got out of a relationship. They're going to be like, and? Okay. Huh? What's your point? Um, and even if it's them that's just got out of a relationship, you're going to be like, no, thanks. I'm no, I'm no Mr. or Mrs. Rebound. And they're going to be like, no, you're not. And they mean it. Ooh. Oh, this is someone that you want. So, again, you know, those of you that are very big on your manifestations right now, especially when it comes to a per your person, yeah? You're calling in somebody. You're calling somebody in. Some of you may know who this is with expectation there. Some of you may know who this person is. But some of you don't, and it's just your manifestation coming in, and you are kind of waiting for that to happen. You know, there's an expectate, there's an expectancy of your soulmate coming. And like, we've got two people here, so flip it as you need to. Whichever gender you what you are, um, you're calling each other. Uh -huh. But someone's now available. I feel like that's the difference. Someone's now available. Yo, oh, it's cute. Even if you don't know one another, you you still call them for one another. Do you know what I mean? You're call you're manifesting them and they're manifesting you, whether you know them or not. That's why I do get like a new neighbourhood vibe and someone kind of you know new to the new to the neighbourhood or something and like oh it's a bit it's <gasps> and let's keep it PJ. Right, we've got great fortune. We're certain that's hitting the sun confirmation. You're destined to be happy, okay? Can you just accept that, please? Um, you know, not everything's got to be a battle. It's not got to be a fight. You've not got to... Because this is coming out of the blue. So you're going to have your fucking guard up. You're going to have your defences on, your boxing gloves on. Like, yeah, what? Who sent Who sent you? You're going to feel like it's a setup. It's a catfish. It's a joke. It's a test. Because of the... 
I don't know, the sudden side of things, the out of the blue it is. Uh, you bump into this person maybe by accident, I don't know. Either way, stop being your own, your own worst enemy at this point, I'm going to say. I feel, I feel like I should take this advice too. <laughs> oh, yeah, stop, chill the fuck out. A journey, card number 10. Some of you, this is about a house move. Someone is waiting to... Some of you, it's not happened yet. Either they've not moved to your neighbourhood or you've not moved to theirs, but it's happening. This journey is about to complete. Someone is moving. See how they've got all the shit packed up. Listen, for some of y'all, this is who you know when they come into your house to move in. <laughs> and you're going to be like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> but like, yeah. Genuinely feel like it's you. That's going to be like, whoa. Hold, hold up. You don't want that. Some of you are going to get an unexpected phone call. But this is, did I show you? See how they packed up their, their stuff? They're all packed up. You, you're moving out of town. I get it. So you know it's out of town. Someone at a distance, maybe. Give me one more. This is exciting. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Hi. Who are you? Hi. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Listen, I said what I said. I could literally just stop the reading right now because top and bottom of it, you're meeting someone. If you're not yet, you're going to be. So just, you know, stay your beautiful self. Don't be concerned. Why are you at? You, someone's bothered about the past, not being the past. Mm -hmm. That's what someone's bothered about. Oh, some of you are also concerned that this is going to bring you bad karma. Confirmation. Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but there's um, yeah, you don't want something to to reflect badly upon you or something. It's not unconventional about this. Oh my. Some of you, this is a one-night stand once upon a time. That's going to become a hell of a lot more. Oh, my God. Some of you or someone listen, that um, was just the intent of a booty call. It's getting well deeper than that. Someone just needs to accept it. And the majority of, each, majority of you, it's you. But flip it. Look. Snake. Competition. Enemy. Clever or malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman. You're so, 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 so sceptical. Um... There's something about this person as well. Maybe there's a bit of a like, well, why do you want to settle down with me? And I don't like that thought. I don't like even saying that. But some of you, that's in your head, or you've even said it to whoever this is. Go move in. The majority of you, though, it's um, it's about whatever's behind you. Either in there, rear view, or yours. Not today, right. Not dealing, her, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, still angry. So some of you may know who this is. Some of you, this is still, I still feel brand new energy though for some of you, but they actually are dealing with something yet. So maybe they've already got their eye on you. Or this is you just pushing. Oh no, for some of you, this is um some kind of rekindling. This is a new phase of transformation for some of you. Someone that's refused to kind of take account or learn from the past mistakes. Someone that was on some kind of repetitive, toxic, karmic cycle, basically, with whatever they was up to, yeah? Gone through quite a period of time, maybe, where they've just... Some refused point blank, some been unable um, to see where they've been going wrong, basically. Um, for some of you, it's that person coming back. You are going to get away from the, whoever this is. Oh, my God. Don't sabotage it. For some of you, this is someone brand new and you're being told not to sabotage it. And for some of you, it's someone coming back that's more than likely already sabotaged the situation with you. It's going to be different for all of you, but it's exciting, though. Yes, sir. Told you, you're calling one another. You are manifesting one another. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. A lot of you are just in the process right now of being very self-focused. You know, you're appreciating yourself. From the smallest of things, um, which is therefore in turn bringing in the big things. You're, tight, you're ready for the big one. You're ready. 
you're grateful at this time at this time you're blissful at this time you're positive you know you're in a nice place so now out of nowhere boom relationship <laughs> smack i love you whilst talking to smacking smack that like button for me and subscribe if you're new show me toys energy i feel like i dropped them let me put them back we all know they'll come back out if they want if they're meant to show me Taurus's messages some me rising venus I can't deal. Hi. Hi. Somebody's crushing on your bad. Even if you already know him, they like falling back into that, like, oh, I just want to or someone wants you. Someone wants you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. Palm tree. Listen, you're looking very stable right now when they want to come in and add to that. Yeah, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Maybe it's not going to be so easy, but you know you've been told there that this can you can you this can be endure like you can endure this like you know this will endure <laughs> like it will it will survive if you want it to. It's going to take what effort though, but what doesn't? Do you know what I mean? Clock, maybe a little bit of time, patience. Need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. So someone's needed time, maybe. This could absolutely be someone that you already know coming back around again. But it's at a time where it's you, them, both are redder. There's a big redder. Okay, so for some of you, especially those of you that are recently out of a situation, so we saw Crosswatcher, um, this is someone that you kind of met seen bumped into noticed whilst in that relationship and there wasn't much some acted upon it some didn't but either way there was a runner because there was a relationship already involved for the majority of you who this is so either you seen someone in the caught your eye whilst you was unavailable now you're available now they're here or you caught their eye while they whilst they was unavailable now they're available and so are you. <laughs> wow. Because look. There was seduction, you know, some kind of temptation there. And someone ran from it. So let's get Tyrell. Oh. Show me Taurus Danger. The world. Could we deal with another fixed sign? Another Taurus. A Leo. A Scorpio. Aquarius. But this is also a major change. There's a major shift on its way for you. Like, especially those of you that are single, yeah, you're not going to be much longer and you're not going to see it coming. And you're going to be sat there like, what the sun again? Leo energy, strong Leo energy. You're going to be sat there thinking, Kels, I'd love that, but I just don't believe you. Right, well, release that and just comment, claim it. Okay? Let's claim it. Let's let the universe know that you're claiming it. Claim it. The devil, somebody's obsessed with you, could be a Capricorn. Someone's like obsessed with you in a, in a light, in a light way, <clears throat> in the healthy way that I speak about every now and again. The way that, you know, that's what I, I want someone to be obsessed with me, only me, in a healthy way. Because, you know, that's, it's exciting to me that, kind of a necessity as well for me. So that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. I love that fire. Oh, not surprised. Go on. <laughs> you look good. Wow. Someone, he could be dealing with a Pisces or another Taurus or a Libra. But for some of you, there was like a friend standing in the way or work or some kind of... Um, something in the way. There was something in the way. Someone's kind of realising that that block is there. Because they're allowing it to be, whether that's you or them kind of thing. Some of you, it's yourself being your own block. Do you know what I mean? Show me Taurus and Venus. Show me Rise and Venus. What? The sun. The eight of wands. The devil. Oh, I see. It's very flirter. It's, um, it's very hard in here, huh? 
you're going to be getting messages from someone here that can't kind of control themselves um, or they're not going to be able to. There's going to be a bit of verbal di diarrhea, verbal vomit. There's going to be a lot of to and from communication. Uh, the Ten of Wands, the wheel. One more. The Five of Swords. Okay. So, mm, I mean, it's kind of like we're going up and down and up and down. We've got the sun, the eight of wands, the devil. So we're going to talk about it. We're going to communicate how this can work. Clarity, truth, honesty, happiness, joy. We're going to talk. This could be advice. You need to talk about the elephant in the room, whatever that may be. Um, because there is one, there's no doubt about that. Whoever's elephant it is, someone's got an issue about proceeding forward, and it needs to be spoke, it needs to be communicated as and when this happens comes in because it looks too good to be to be ruined. Do you know what I mean? Or to let other people ruin? You know the wheel here. This is divine success, divinely guided success. You're destined for greatness. Um, it's just bringing in a lot, a bit of this along with it. The Five of Swords energy. It's just bringing a bit of, you know, I don't know what the, I don't want it, I don't want to say it's dishonesty and slyness and stealing and, you know, and just someone being out for themselves. I feel like it's other people. I feel like it's other people or situations that you may, you know, the possibility of letting it get. Getting the better of you is there, so take that as you will. The high priestess, strength, trust your intuition. It's going to be difficult to do so, maybe because of whatever this is in, is in this five of swords energy. We'll clarify, we'll find out more because I feel like each of these swords belong to an energy that's kind of got something to say about your destiny or your success. But doesn't that always happen? Do you know what I mean? You bring, like... You can't please everyone. You know? Try to not overthink it. And it's kind of a typical Taurus trait, you know? Try not to do that. It's too nice. Show me what all this is about. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. There's um, a hell of a lot of telepathic communication going on with you and whoever this person is. Whether you know them or not. Your souls are speaking to one another. <laughs> and that's not something I say often, but that is happening. Even if this is someone brand new, yeah, you can feel something just there. Something's just on the brink. It's like, you can feel something in the energy, you know, it's... And you know you're right. It's like oh, you can feel it's something. It's, you know, like I do. I do it all the time. I mean, well, I kind of know my weirdness now. But my friend does it. Brooke, she's like, oh, I feel weird today. Right, there's a reason for that. <laughs> oh, there's something weird going on today. There's a reason. <laughs> I refer to the magician because you're manifesting. <laughs> Jeez, you're manifesting a commitment. Yes, you are. Absolutely. Now, I refer. The magician and the wheel. You're getting what, be careful what you wish for, you know? You just don't see it coming. You're in a position like, where it's like, I've not got time for it now. Well, tough. <sighs> you're having it. <laughs> oh, I love it for you. I do. Okay, Angel. Yeah. Show me this sun, please. Yeah. I'm just doing this, baby. Oh my goodness, the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles in the world. So this is protected. This is not going to affect your abundance in a negative way. It's going to enhance it. You're going to go from the nine to the ten, you know. Single, available, maybe someone's becoming single, but once someone's getting snapped up, yeah, or someone's snapping someone up, it's going to be different for all of you, but either way, this is... Protected, and you deserve this. This is the sun. Happiest card in tarot. Someone wants to come and build on your abundance with you. 
you know, the Ten of Pentacles, it's two people coming together or creating something absolutely mega. Power couple, hello. Some of you do know who this is and, you know, you've dealt with them at some point in your past and they regret how they dealt with you in some kind of way. Maybe they never expressed how they actually felt about you. They're about to. Oh, my God. You don't see this coming. Oh, my God. I'm excited by it. <laughs> right. You need to... It's the unexpected... It's the sudden shock of this. Yeah. That's what's going to get you in your overthinking mode. Try to not do that. Right. Show me the state of ones, please. Taurus. The Queen of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So there's going to be a little bit of a disbelief of whether something's over for a lot of you. So whether that's, um, however that fits. Someone doesn't want to be this home wrecking bitch, male or female. Someone doesn't want to be blamed for something being over. That needs discussing, that needs talking about. And you need to think about, or at least listen to what they're saying. You need to listen to what they're saying. The eight of ones is communication, you know, how to move forward. Um, you need to listen to what they're saying. Right, for some of you, you've not spoke or seen or whatever this person for a long time. The hermit could be a Virgo. You're going to hear from someone. Or it's someone older than you or someone that's emotionally matured. For some of you, it's... Someone that's maybe tried to forget about you. Maybe there's been years past, years. Like childhood sweetheart maybe for some of you. Show me this devil. The Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. So there's a hesitance there based off this not happening ages ago. Where was this? Why didn't you do this before? Why has it took you so long? This Ace of Pentacles, this blessing that's been delivered to you, you're going to question it because of how long it's took to get here. Typical. Maybe also because of who's delivering it, though, with this King of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But you're even going to question the time it's took to get there, here, to you. Or, like, you're going to question something about the person that's bringing it. Bringing it. <laughs> I don't know. For those of you that is someone brand new, it's like you can't fathom the fact that they can, they can or will commit and want to commit to you. You know, they're absolutely mega to look at, male or female. They've got attention dripping off them, do you know what I mean? But they don't want none of that, they want you. But that's a little bit hard for you to wrap your head around, for some of you. Some of you, it's Sagittarius. Um, you deserve this. Yeah? Just remember that. Show me this Ten of Wands, please, for Taurus. Uh, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. So it is this. Someone's got, like, an element of guilt or regret of not doing something sooner. The truth with the Ace of Swords. Acknowledging feelings, something about sadness, regret, you know? Or just missing you. you some, a lot of you know who this is. Listen, even maybe for one of you know, a few of you, it is someone brand new and they, you know, they're going to be open and honest about the feelings, about the past, their history, the relationships. That's going to be different for you. You know? That That's also advice for you. Don't hold on. Don't keep, don't keep your guards up so much. Is it, you know, don't be so nervous. Oh gosh. Oh my God. For some of you, you know exactly who this is because they put you in a third party situation. They cheated on you. They did something. They did something. But it was like, um, it was someone where you had an intuitive knowing or a very insightful way of knowing that they will always return. Yeah. 
Show me this Wheel of Fortune, please. Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups and the Fool. You deserve this. I get it might be a bit of a risk, especially those of you that have been single for however long, you know. Opening yourself up to someone and becoming vulnerable is difficult. Um, but it's going to be worth the risk that you take. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Someone wants to love you right. Someone know, Someone kind of knows your love language or they're willing to get to know it. Like, you're destined for this love and it's love that you want, you know. Confirmation. The Nine of Cups is also, you know, again, it's with the fool especially, it's like risking all of your single, protected, no-nonsense life to share it with someone who, again, has got the opportunity to fuck you over. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that they will, but becoming open to someone and completely trusting someone like that, you are giving someone that opportunity to do so. It's on them whether they choose to do that or not. I, this person's not going to do that. Even if they've done it in the past, you're not going to do it. I don't, you know, just be careful how you manifest. Show me this five of swords. Could be an Aries or a Scorpio. Show me this five of swords. One. Obviously the tower. So there's going to be a lot of holding back, being standoffish, you know, questioning everything that someone says because of how unexpected this is. You know, you're going to be like, mm, who sent you, wherever you come from, you know. <laughs> and others of you are, it's other people that are going to be affected by this. It's like other people, other energies, that's going to have some kind of tower moment over you being with this person. Maybe it's just getting a commitment altogether. I don't know. The Eight of Pentacles. One more, please. There's Five of Swords. The Eight of Swords. So, some of you, it's a work situation. Like, maybe you work together or something like that. Or it's whether this can work. But it's... Those of you that you asked about whether it can work, that's more than likely <clears throat> more than likely because of other energies or other people or something like that that will maybe try and cause issues with the five of swords, steal it if you like, um, because it's going to cause shock, confusion. I don't know, but you are, you know, we're in our own little self-imposed imprisonment there, if you like. It's just like expecting someone to fuck up, expecting someone to fuck you over. They're probably going to end up fucking you over at some point, so you need to stop that. Um, I'm not saying that all of you are, but it's like, and it's not this person for some of you either, it's the people that are going to have an opinion on you being with whoever this is. Even still, fuck what they've got to say. Do you know what I mean? Someone knows that you're going to be very standoffish as well when it comes to being approached whether they're new or not because they've already been watching you so they kind of they kind of get your vibe in a little way however that is so they already know that you're going to be like what what do you want whether it's new or not in some kind of way do you know what i mean because i do feel like you're showing up as the queen of swords there and it's like someone's on the way to you and you're going to be like can i help you <laughs> like yeah let's be happy <laughs> <laughs> um, but don't get in your own way don't do that let's get you some moonology a lot of new start is coming yes it is the energy is gaining momentum it's just going to shock the shit out of you how unexpected it is or like you're just not prepared or you're just not looking look at the bigger picture Show me Taurus energy. Nothing is yet set in stone. Oh, guys, you just don't believe me, do you? Right, well, comment, claim it, and allow it to come in, please. And then come and tell me that you don't believe me. A time for healing. Believe in the impossible. You and your loved ones are safe. So. Mm-hmm. Show me Taurus's messages. I love this reading. One of my favourites in ages. Yep. Bring love into the situation. Some of you, this is an Aquarius that you're dealing with. You meditate and contemplate. Could be dealing with the Pisces. 
it's allowing yourself to actually acknowledge how you feel, who you like and what you feel about who. And do you know what I mean? Loving yourself, loving someone else. It's allowing that to actually be the case. Wow. There's a lot of interference, maybe. If it's not other people interfering in your life, it's it's your own shit getting in your own way, do you know what I mean? Or it's your person's. And if it is the person's people, you already know who it is. Expect powerful change. You just don't know yet. The end of a tough cycle approaches. The final climax approaches. Mm -hmm. Someone's getting out of the South Node. And I hope I just managed to explain that well enough before I just go off. Because this is happening, yeah? And some of you it is new. And it's going to be your own self-sabotaging trust issues that are possibly going to get in the way. So don't do that. And some of you, this is someone that you already know. And you need to not... They have fucked you over possibly somewhere along the lines in some kind of way, shape or form. However, there's always been an expectancy of this person returning. You've manifested it, therefore they're coming. They've also been manifesting you. Either way, it's coming and you've been told to don't hold on to the past. Don't sabotage this situation because it can be beautiful if you let it okay <laughs> now i love you you know i do okay um <sighs> i wouldn't bullshit you guys if you want a personal reading email me because this is just general right don't force all and every single message in here to be yours if it's not okay email me for a personal reading and i will see you all tomorrow Mwah.